Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is Day 8 of the RPG Day 2019 Challenge. Today's word is Obscure. Now, this is a word that would be right up my particular alley, given the myriad and myriad of obscure RPGs that I have, some of which I've already covered. And there will be plenty more getting covered in the future, I can guarantee that. But one particular example I want to focus on when it comes to sheer obscure is a very out there RPG called Continuum, role-playing in the yet. It was supposed to be about a society of time travelers, which you would think, being a Doctor Who fan, I would be all over. The whole story starts when it was brought up on TG, the board that gets shit done, and how there was no scans of the game about a decade ago. Actually, 11 years ago, technically. But within, within a few months and a few, pol and a few pollings, a scan was made. And then, for all that work, it turns out the game kind of sucks. Crunch is a nightmare even before you bring in time travel. I've seen some people say it's the second most convoluted rule system ever. I don't quite agree. And to be fair, the rule set isn't terrible. It's everything around it that has the problem. Namely, the whole advancing your skills by making successful rolls. This is something that was tried a handful of times in other games. And there's a reason nobody does it. Because it's really hard to balance. And you're also attributing your advancement to luck of the dice. That's not interesting for a lot of players. But that's just with the core part of it. Once you get into stuff like the sanity rolls or time com combat or frag then things get really, really convoluted. All in all, it ends up showing that Some Call Me Johnny was right when he said time travel is bullshit. But beyond that, I will admit I have a soft spot for the obscure. Not for the hipster points or anything like that. No, no, no. I've always seen the internet as my own little library to explore. Some places you don't go into, much like there are certain places in the library you don't go into. But I like the notion of going around and finding things that I didn't know about. Learning things that I couldn't have learned about elsewhere. And that applies when it comes to RPGs. There's plenty of RPGs out there that I haven't discovered or have discovered but haven't fully delved into. And it's always a new feeling when I find something interesting. That's why... The opening part of the Monastery Live shows is on the Kickstarter Spotlight. Not because I have any strong feelings for or against crowdfunding. In fact, I'd argue that it's been a bigger success for tabletop games than for any other medium. But it has to do with showcasing what else is out there. So many people will stick to just the one or two things and then... When that thing ends up stinking, act like the whole industry has gone down the tubes. Look at how people are with video games these days, for example. But even with that, there's this thriving area outside of it that they just don't go into because they're too concerned with their own little comfort zone. When I got my site back, I elected to never have a comfort zone like that, ever. And that is a mindset that I have maintained up until this point. That's the mindset that caused me to create this channel, and it's the mindset I hope to continue as the years go by. Otherwise, I'm just yet another D&D blogger like anybody else. And I don't want to do that. 